Our next guest is just 10 years old. She's been described as the new Mozart, and you're about to hear why. She's thoroughly charmed audiences around the world. We are so excited to be able to welcome her to Zeitgeist, Alma Deutsche. How old were you when you realised you had this, frankly, miraculous musical gift? Well, as, um, as much as I rem can remember myself, I was always overwhelmed by music. I must have been three when I heard this beautiful lullaby by Richard Strauss. And after I heard it, I went to my parents and asked them, how can music be so beautiful? And then when I was four, then I, I didn't know it was called composing. I just had these ideas and melodies running in my head. And then I would sit at the piano and try and play them. And then when I was five, th um, then, then, I, then I, I, when I was five, then I wrote them down in my notebook. And I remember one of the first things I ever composed was a, was a, uh, a sh uh, opera f of, of a story that my mummy told me about a pirate called Don Alonso. You told us about how music comes into your head, and sometimes you're not even aware of why it's coming in, and you don't necessarily even want it at that time. Tell us, can you tell us more about that process, about how the melodies arrive? Well, when I try to get a melody, then it nev never comes to me. It usually comes to me either when I'm resting, or when I'm just sitting at the piano improvising, or when I'm skipping with my skipping rope. We've seen the skipping rope here. Um, or even when I'm trying to do, even when I'm trying to do something else, when somebody's talking to me, or when I'm trying to do something, then I hear this beautiful melody. I hear a, a melody inside my head. Um, it can be played by any, any 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 instrument. One time it's a human voice singing, and a different time it's a violin, and another time it's horns, even horns sometimes. Um, and I I just hear this melody. It plays inside my mind. The difficult bit is to then to sit down and with that idea to develop it and to combine it with other ideas in a coherent way. Because it's very easy just to throw a soup of lots of ideas which don't make any sense together, but to sit down and to develop it and to combine it, and then afterwards to tweak it and polish it. That takes ages, sometimes even years. I, re I remember when um, I was six and I wrote my piano sonata. As you do. Yeah. I remember when I was six and I wrote my first piano sonata. I, r I already had all the ideas for it, um, and, I, but I, and I couldn't imagine how long it, it would take me um, to, to write that piano sonata. And that was just a small piano sonata. And now I'm 10 and I'm writing now a whole opera.